All right, let me take a seat. Here, oh shoot. I just bent the clip on. Okay, anyways. Here we have the tarp I'm laying down for the, um, and they're my dogs and they're tied up because they freaking tear up anything I bring out. So um, they're in jail right now for the meantime. Look, she's already trying to freaking figure out what she's gonna pee on the tarp. They see tarp and they just wanna pee and poop all over it. Freaking girl. Anyways. Um, so this here is my uh, inflatable spray booth. This here's one blower and this here's another blower. So I laid down a, a tarp that's, I believe, what was this again? I think it was, um, it was 19 by 29, which should be, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. I just know it's a little bit bigger than the tent itself. So this cool, beautiful ocean. About to uh, unbox this real quick. So I'm gonna unbox these three right here. I'm gonna lay down the. Um... Okay, sure. What, what, what do you, you want to tell us? You just want to interrupt my video. Now you're over there tangled up because you don't know how to stay put. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the uh, the uh, spray booth and then connect the blowers and then uh, inflate this son of a gun and see how how it looks like. Yeah, good luck trying to put this sucker back in here. <laughs> Not gonna happen. All right, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do all that work. Guys, seriously, look. My dolly, the box, the package, packed inside, the package. Yeah, that's way too squeezed in tight, but they did a perfect job at it. All right, let's go. So this, I decided that I'm going to, um, what's the word? Unwrap it on whatever fold it yeah right in the middle it's folded like this into a strip so but right in the middle I'm guessing it just flaps out this way and then that way and then boom yeah all right wish I had my wide angle but here it is blowing up I got the anchors on all right all right and I got it up right before the sun went completely down let me get on top of this here thing Yep. So if you could kind of compare next to the Harbor Freight 10 by 17 uh, tent over there where my dogs are at. This is the Gorilla Pro uh, 16 by 26. And let me tell you, um, hell man, I'm, I'm glad I went with this size. Reason why I went with this size was because the other tents, okay, so check this out. This tent has, you know, it has the main what do you want to call them like you know the main support um, inflatable tubes they run on the top rather than at the bottom you know how the other ones run they run at the bottom taking up about like you're losing about two feet on each side I believe and I wanted as much uh, as much room as possible inside without having to go with the super big one because i probably wouldn't have been able to fit it over here i'm actually looking at it i definitely wouldn't have been able to fit it in here <laughs> which is like 33 by 25 i can't remember if you go look into there though you see the biggest size one it's it's, it's freaking huge so again it's not taking up any of the space inside the 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 tubes that support the the sides at the bottom are are on the top on this one the only thing i would say hold on I think you don't get as much clearance on the top, which is, yeah, I'm right. So it's probably loud in here, but yeah, so the, the, these tubes run on the top. So I guess if you were to use like a step stool or a ladder, this is the downside is it's probably going to be on your way depending on how wide the car is, but I'm not going to be working on trucks. You know, you can see my cars right there. They're not tall cars, you know, so this is more than freaking perfect. And like again, like I said, I have the space to walk around the cars right here, and enough space to open up the door jams, man. I could open up the door jams here, and with enough clearance, like this, this is this is freaking perfect, freaking perfect. My 58 fits in here perfectly. Sorry, I know you can't see much, cause, but yeah, and it feels pretty fresh. I don't know. Hold on, what's this right here? I guess 
So this is to let fresh air in. Okay, you put it on just so it's not like completely blowing. But you can hang your lights up there. Um, you could also hang your lights right around here, up, the, up over there. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any more ventilation. I could have sworn I seen some, like something hanging from the top for ventilation. But it's cool because right here I'm just gonna put. I have one of my really big fans. You know those workshop fans. Actually, no, I shouldn't do that. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, no, I'm gonna use my uh, my explosion proof one, the one that I did the uh, the one for I did the filtration for inside the uh, the house. I'm gonna put that one right there and blow out all the freaking overspray right there, all the fumes. It'll put it work. This is this is more than freaking than what I need. This is a this is awesome, you guys. I give this a freaking rating of like 10 stars, but I'll let you know guys how it does. Pops is right here checking it out. So quickly forgot to mention you got vent holes right here that's pushing fresh air in so it actually feels really good being right here in the middle dude it's like super breezy obviously because right now temperature is cooling down it's getting dark but oh man that's gonna be freaking night and day from being inside a garage with no fresh air coming in only vent ventilated uh, air coming out exhausted air going out so you got some screens right here some plastic screens for the Sun to hit so you have some light and again, your light holes, and obviously so your uh, your car can bake in here while it's painting. Freaking excited to get this thing started. All right, this stuff for sure out. 